have to pump that up. Or do I have a tool? Oh, snap. Yeah, I do. Oh, you got the 300 pound one too. Yeah, but the thing is you could uh, on. That, that's fine. We only need about 91. Yeah. I think, I can't remember. Um, here, I better stretch that, uh, that suspension up. I'll give it, hold on, I'll give you a hand. I just pulled it. How about this? Um, I guess you take that back. Grab the enticer. Grab the enticer. I'll meet you down on the big lake. Okay. Uh, right, you know, between the two small lakes? Yeah. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll meet you there. Yeah, and then we'll do some clutching. Sounds good. That's the issue. I'm almost, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not convinced it's clutching. I'm thinking, it seems like it, I don't know why I would think this. It seems like it's losing fuel pressure a little bit. When I start it up again, it's it's like missing a little bit. So I don't know. It's like there's pressure being lost in the fuel rail somewhere. Or in the uh, fuel system. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there is a way to check all of that, of course, but we just do not have that technology here. <laughs> Hey, what the? Right, see that? Can you see power pots? Oh, it doesn't. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Need a new marker. Chris Brandt probably has new markers, so I don't know all the time signing stuff. Not us. We don't have that luxury. Let's see if she says she laughs. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Uh, it can't get much worse. I don't think so. Oh, no, it never happens. No. Don't forget your tether. Oh. Don't forget your tether, son. I forget mine all the time. Oh, I got it. Here, I got a clip for you. Just for you, Simon. Thank you. I, uh, I appreciate your concern for my safety. No problem. Uh, put, don't forget to put your seatbelt on. And do you have a, do you have any alcohol in your system? Because uh, we have no zero tolerance for alcohol apparently in Ontario. Okay, good to go. Gotta let off because it lifts. Uh oh. Maybe a plug is loose. Just uh, kill it and take a quick look inside. Because it went from uh, hitting it all the way, yeah, and then it, uh, when I turned around the corner, it went down, and it now it go like it goes all the way to 86, and then it drops right down back to 78. So it's like wow. Like from from a dead stop? No, going. 
No, see, you got to do it from a dead stop. Yeah, but I, I it, it was holding 86 everywhere before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, it should be 89. I think we have this dialed to 89. Here, take it, let's uh, pop the, the, take a look at the quick, quick clickers. But uh, yeah, that track is vibrating a lot. Oh, it is? Oh yeah, it's like when oh. I'm driving. Okay. How loose is that belt? That's not too bad. Tight. Okay. They're okay. not loose, that's for sure. Carbs are on. What are the clickers at? Can you see? Uh, six. Okay. So that's your highest RPM. Are they all at that? At six. Okay. How's oh, she sitting in there? Sitting pretty good. What's that there? Gas. You got a gas leak, bud. You didn't tighten up a bowl, or there's a gasket that's right wrong. Might might be a gasket wrong. The bowls are tight. They look fine when I put them in, but let's go check it out. Cause that's all gas in there. Yeah, it's all up on that panel that you have your leg on. Yep. So no more holding her open. Okay, just uh, limp back, grab the other sled. Well, that's why we test. Yeah. Your fur. Well, right, I guess uh, I'll meet you on that big lake. Yep. Uh, yeah, put the spot here. Follow me, I'll get us a quick way back. That other helix definitely pulls way harder, it, but it's only getting 83.50. I think... Um, Too heavy on the weights. Well, I think this helix doesn't close quick enough, like doesn't uh, open quick enough. Yeah. So it's too easy to rev up and that's why you're getting, you're just going to rev limiter or whatever is happening. I was almost thinking more weight. You need more weight for it to be harder to get up there. Yeah, but then, but I'm only getting 83.50. Don't you take weight off to get more yeah. RPM? That's right, so. Unless you put more at the tip and less, the weight more at the tip. So uh, at the beginning, it closes quicker. Let's try that. That's just my theory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it makes sense. Well, what was the result of that helix change? So the result of the helix change was it was a very minimal result as far as the uh, initial punch because I get that bog, right? But 
when uh, what I do notice uh, with the difference in the helix between this and the Indy Dan or Indy Specialties helix is this doesn't pull your arms off just like that other one does it. The other one soars. Um, but what we're doing here is we're making this little, these, these are as um, turbo weights. I don't know if you can see them there. Can you see those little gizmos? Yeah, there you go. So there's little, little uh, magnets in there, little earth, rare earth magnets. Um, you just pop those out and move them around. Um, we get that bog right off the start. So I'm going to see, we moved, we've got two in the first hole, three in the second, and three in the third. So we're going to see if that makes a difference. I think the sled is just ramping up too fast, um, the RPMs, and um, it's not liking it. It sort of, it, it coughs, it hesitates. You'll see it in the video. Well, let's get this back on, Simon, and uh, see how this works. If we have to, we'll just pop it apart again and make another change. Okay. I think we'll put the spring in this time. Should we put the spring in? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, let's put the spring in. Same? Yeah. yeah. I'm almost thinking we just put the other weights back on. Try it. Sure. With that same spring? I don't know. Maybe just go right back to original. Everything. Everything back to original. Let's do it. And that way you'll know if, uh, if it's a fuel problem or not. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. I'm just going to warm up. Better with that, way better with the other kit on it. So it is clutching related, or at least part of it. Like I mean, like there, I was I was driving along at you know 4,500, 5,500 punch it and it would blah, fall on its face. I'm not getting the top RPM that I was getting before either. It's only going up to 8,300 now. 8,250, 8,300. What is that? Huh. I know it was down a little lower when I put that, when I put the uh, ring gear on for the starter. I know it was, it was running a little lower. But, uh, When that, when that primary, when you punch it with the primary and it closes, so that would cause the secondary to open really fast, right? With yeah. the helix in it compared to the other one, right? Well, it, if, yeah, yeah, no, it wants to, it wants to open faster with the other helix, so it puts more strain on the clutches. So that's why it pulls harder because yeah. you have the power for it. Now I think uh, with these weights and that spring in the primary, it's it doesn't want to pull hard enough. So just free spinning and going blah, like right up to, it goes to the red line and... Potentially. 
instantly and back down maybe potentially yeah so more weight I can't put much more in those in that one I don't think oh yeah there's a big long one the thing the the the, the, the what's pissing me off is that it worked with that before It's not detonating. The di the other diff there's another difference. The head. The low compression head. Yeah. But we we have two we have a few sets of domes for that, right? We're running right now, running the lowest one we got. I think we have to go back up in compression, maybe. Because we're not running that huge boost. Very well, be right. Maybe those, uh, the ones he sent initially, the stock compression but higher squish, like the squish higher, yeah, like the taller domes, basically. Are they in that box? No, they're on the shop floor. Mm -hmm. I think we, uh, I think you're right. Maybe go back to those and because then... I had stock head before. Yeah, and it, with this clutching, it ran great. Stock head. So what if we try those first domes he sent, and all, all his clutching too? Yeah. Because I think these right. super low compression domes is for when we wanted to tune it for that big horsepower, right? So super low compression. So what's it doing? It's get it's flooding. It doesn't have enough. So what would it be doing in there? I don't know. That I can't. It's, well, it has a whole bunch more space. Yeah. So it's got less. It's basically got less balls. Yeah. <laughs> like it's got less torque off the start. Yeah. Yeah, I think you nailed it. Yeah. That's right. the only di other difference. Like, uh, yeah. we put everything back to the regular sidekick kit, so a, like, I, I uh, can't see. It's really a ten-minute job to change the domes. Yeah. And I, yeah, I would put back all the other clutching because that's what went the best, right? Yeah. The helix, the clutch, yeah. like the spring, yeah. the weights. Yeah. Okay. Let's head her back to the truck. Uh, you know, it, it, so there you go, boys. This is uh, what it's like when you buy sleds and uh, you're playing around with things. You know, we do a lot of testing kind of R&D for these guys too, right? It's not like we just get this stuff and then don't do anything with it or don't tell anybody about it. So um, Simon brought up a great point. We put another boondocker kit on, auxiliary injectors. It's cold out. And uh, um, we put a really low compression domes in there because we really wanted to pound some PSI out of it, some boost, and see what it would do. But the control box needs to be they need to send us a new control box so we put the old sidekick box back on now it's got the super low compression domes on it uh, I think we need to go back up to those stock ones because when I ran this at the races I could punch this thing and it was just a, a rocket ship um, we went back to our original clutching and it's still it's running horrible and then you got it it's I the, think um, it's the domes thinking about it it's bogging like that pre-boost and as soon as the turbo spools boop you got all your power but yeah. pre-boost like it's like it's like having low compression domes on a naturally aspirated sled That's right. is what i'm thinking yeah so we'll see i think you're right we'll just pull the carbs out of her and put some uh fatter jets in it <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> let's go back and uh and uh, that's good. And uh, we'll figure this out. Yep. Okay, Simon. Good job.